Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to week one of the Summer Breeze Crochet Along. In today's video I'm going to be showing you part one of the crochet along which is the bottom part of the cushion. So I'm actually just going to be showing you a section of the pattern and if you want to actually take part in the cow you can go ahead and get the full pattern or if you're just wanting to try out some tapestry crochet techniques this will be perfect for you too. I will leave a link in the description box below to the blog post for this cow where you can find all of the information, how much yarn you're going to need, what colours you're going to need, where to get the pattern and also information of where you can join, join the Facebook group for this cow. So go ahead and check that out. Again I'll leave a link in the description box below but you're going to need your yarn, a four and a half millimetre crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So now that you've done your chains, we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So not the chain on the hook, we skip the first one and move into the second one. So this is a double crochet in the UK, single in the US. Go ahead, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook and then yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through and then yarn over, pull through, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go ahead and work your way along the whole of this chain and meet me back once you're ready. Okay so I have just gone ahead and done all of those stitches into my chain and it's really really important that you count at the end of every row how many stitches you have. So I have 15 in total. If you don't know how to count just turn your work to face upwards and then you can see these V's. Count each one of those V's all the way along and that is your 15 stitches. So for this pattern you actually want to do five rows of these double crochets. So this is row one, you want to chain one and turn your work and you're going to do your first stitch into here. So go ahead and do your first stitch and that is going to class as the first one, you don't class your turning chain as a stitch. And then again into the next one and all the way along. Once you get to the end, you're going to chain one, turn and repeat. So go ahead, pause the video. I want you to do five rows of the double crochet. Pause the video and meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so I have just done my five rows of double crochet and I have counted each of my rows to make sure that there are 15 um, in total for each row. So what I'm going to do now is actually tie off this yarn. So chain one and go ahead and snip off my yarn because we're going to introduce a new colour now. So this next colour is going to be this gorgeous purple. So I'm going to go ahead and join this the way that I like to join. I know some people don't like to uh, tie knots in their work but this is just the way that I like to do it. So do it however you feel that you want to change colours but we're now going to do one row of double crochets in this new colour. So insert your hook and then draw through and chain one and then turn the work. So the first stitch is going to be in that very first stitch and then all the way along. So go ahead, pause the video, double crochets all the way along this row and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so I am almost at the end of my row. I actually have one stitch left, which I'm going to do something slightly different with because we are going to start our tapestry crochet now. So we are now going to be starting to work with two colours at the same time. So um, first of all, what you want to figure out is which is your front and which is your back. So if you have a stitch marker, you might want to mark that this is your right side and this is your wrong side. So for this last stitch what I'm going to do is I'm going to change colours. So I'm going to start the stitch by inserting my hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through but instead of finishing off this stitch with this colour I'm going to drop it and I'm going to grab the um, 
the first colour, so colour one, and then pull that through and that just finishes it off. Now you want to find your end and you just want to pull them down like this so that you get your tension right. So find the way that um, fits best for you. You're going to chain one and turn your work and then we're going to start the pattern of this tapestry crochet. So I now have my right side facing me and so should you. So what we want to do is take colour two and lay it along the back like so because we're going to be working with colour one for now and we're going to be working around that thread. So you want to insert your hook into that first stitch because this first stitch is going to be um, colour one as per the grid pattern and then you're going to yarn over and pull through to create that first stitch. Now here's where it gets a little bit complicated especially for this very first stitch because there's only one of this colour. Instead of finishing off with that colour, you want to drop that yarn, pick up colour two, this purple, and then yarn over and pull through. And that creates the first stitch in that colour, but we're now ready to do stitches in um, the purple colour. So for this pattern, we're going to do eight in the purple, but on the eighth stitch we're going to change to the white. So again we're laying the white down along the back, inserting our hook, grabbing the yarn and pulling it through and then pulling through two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, adjust your yarn if you need to because you don't want your yarn to be pulling too much as you're working um, because that can cause tension issues. It's actually really good to work on a tabletop when you're doing tapestry crochet I find. Um, so we'll go and do another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then on this last one we're going to change colours because we now, after this eighth one, we need to do two in the white. So we go ahead and don't quite finish off our stitch, drop this colour and pick up the white, lay down that purple along the back and then yarn over and pull through. And then you have your eighth stitch we want to do two of these, so our first one is as normal, but our second one we change colour. So don't quite finish off that stitch. What I would suggest here is that you grab this ball of yarn and then pull it over because you will get tangled otherwise. So yarn over and pull through that other colour, pull down on your non-working yarn and then go ahead and do those stitches to the end. So we have four stitches remaining here. One, two, three and the last one, four. So because we're working in a grid you want to look at the next row above and we're going to do the same colour so that's why I, I've finished off this stitch completely because we can just chain one and turn our work. Now what you'll notice is we actually have the wrong side facing us. So if we actually carried our yarn to the back like this, we would see it from the front. So now we want to carry our yarn closest to us. So I'm going to take this white that's still attached and bring it forwards like so, so that we can crochet it in but it's closest to us, so it's on the wrong side of the work. And this time I want to do three stitches in the purple, uh, but we're going to change colour on the third stitch. So there we have one, 
and two. And then the third, we're going to change colour. So pull it through, you'll have two loops on the hook. Bring this yarn forwards and then pick up this white yarn and bring it over. And then we've just completed that third stitch. We now need to do four in the white. One, two, three, and then on our fourth one, we're going to change colors. So bringing the yarn forward, detangling the yarn as much as possible. So bring that forwards and finish off that stitch. We're now going to do six in purple, six stitches in purple. One, two, three, four, five and then on the last stitch of the sequence you want to change colours. So here we go, we're going to not finish off that stitch, bring it forwards, pick up the white, finish that stitch off and then for the rest of the row we're going to do two in the white. So one, and just looking up to the next um, row, we're actually doing some more white stitches. So I can go ahead and keep, keep the white on my hook. So there we have that row. We're going to chain one and turn. We now have the right side facing us. So we can go ahead and keep that yarn at the back of the work. And we're going to do three stitches one, two, and then the third one, change colours. So dropping the yarn, I'm going to go ahead and pick this yarn ball up, switch it around so that we don't, don't get tied up, and finish off that stitch. <clears throat> now I only have to do four um, in the purple, so one, two, three, and remember on the last one we always change colours. So this is the fourth, drop the yarn, pick up the white, yarn over and pull through, and then do six in this colour this time. One, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth one, swap the yarn round, and pull through the new colour, and then we'll finish off with two in the purple. One, and two. So here we are. Um, this is the first triangle that we have of this pattern. We now have two rows of the purple. So you've, you've got a choice here. You can either snip off your yarn or you can leave that attached because we're going to do two rows of this colour. So we'll go along one side and then back over the other. And we're going to need this again. So essentially you can just leave that hanging um, and then we'll pick it up and then move it up to a couple of rows for when you need it. And that just means you have less ends to sew in, which is always good. So I'm going to go ahead and chain one, turn the work, but just leave that thread hanging and do one double crochet into each of the stitches um, all the way along. And I'm going to do that for two rows. 
So go ahead, pause the video, do the same, and I'll meet you back in just a moment and show you how to pick up this yarn again to work our second set of triangles. Okay, so I have now done those two rows. I'm now ready to chain one and turn my work. And this is what I was talking about before. So now you have this yarn, which is still attached. And the reason why this works is because we're starting on the same side that we finished. If this was going to work out that you finish on the opposite side or start on the opposite side that you finished, you will need to tie it off. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and do our first two stitches in the purple and I have the wrong side facing me so I'm going to have my work towards me and yarn over and pull through. You just want to make sure that when you're pulling this it's not too tight and don't worry about this here because we're going to um, sew it in at the end anyway. So on our second we want to go ahead and change colours so we're just going to drop this yarn towards us and then pick up the white so that we can finish off that stitch and these triangles are actually the opposite way round so we're going to go ahead and do six in the white colour so one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the sixth one, we're going to change colors. So we're going to drop the yarn. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this stays detangled. So just moving that, altering that slightly to untwist it and then yarn over and pull through. And then in this color, we're now going to do four stitches so that we can move over to the next triangle. One, two, three, and then this fourth one we're going to change. So dropping the yarn forwards and then picking up the white and we're going to finish off with three stitches to the end of this row. One, two, and three. So we're going to use this same white for the next row so I can go ahead and just finish off that stitch, chain one and turn. We now have the right side facing us so we can carry the yarn to the back. And then we're going to do two stitches in the white. So one, and two but we're going to change colour so we're going to drop, I'm going to detangle and then yarn over pull through and then there's six in the purple one, two, three, four, five and this sixth one, we're going to drop the yarn, pick up the white, finish off, and then we have four in the white. One, two, three, and four. Remember this is our last stitch, so we're going to drop I'm going to detangle and finish off and we're going to finish off with three stitches in the purple. One, two and three. So one thing I do want to point out here is you really want to be aware of your tension as you're working along because it's so easy to end up with this section being super tight and then this bit being a lot bigger and that's because you're carrying your yarn so I would suggest that you really stop and check to make sure that you're not pulling too tight 
with this but you do need it tight enough so that you are um, hiding the yarn throughout. It is normal for you to see it a little bit that's just kind of the, the look of tapestry crochet but I think it gives it a really nice kind of feel so this is the back look you can see it a lot more and then this is the front. So we just have one more row to do to finish off these triangles and then the rest is pretty simple. So I'm going to yarn over and turn my work. I'm going to bring this white to the front because I have the wrong side facing me. And then I'm going to start off with four stitches in the purple. One, two, three, and four. On this last one, I'm going to drop my yarn, pick up the white, make sure that this is forwards, and do two in the white. One, and two, but I'm going to detangle, pick up the purple and pull through. Now I have eight stitches in the purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the eighth one, drop the yarn, and then we're going to do one in the white. Now, we're actually going to tie off the white now because we have a row of purple going back the other way and we'll end up on the other side when we need to rejoin the white. So I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and pull through and snip off this white yarn and pull that out. And then I'm just going to go ahead with the purple that's still attached and just draw that through, chain one and turn and then I'm just going to carry on with that for a whole extra row. So I'm going to complete this row, so pause this video, work your way to the end of the row to the last stitch, and then I'll show you how to switch colours to move to the white again. Okay, so I have just done that last row. I am done with this colour, so I am going to finish off as normal, but chain one go ahead and snip this yarn off and pull it out and then I'm going to take the white again and reattach. So again please feel free to use whichever attachment methods you prefer. Um, this is just what I like to do. So I'm going to pull up a loop, chain one and turn and then go ahead and do a whole row of 15 double crochets all the way across and I'm going to do that for six rows and that completes the first section of the cushion. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do these six rows so I shall meet you back in just a second. Okay, so I've now done my six rows. I'm going to go ahead and snip off my yarn. Now what I would really suggest is once you've come to the end of this first section is that you sew in your ends and when sewing them in have the wrong side facing you so that you're not getting anything peeking through to the front. Um, so I would highly recommend doing the rule of three which is going ahead and threading up your darning needle and then going back on the work into the fibres about an inch to an inch and a half one way pulling it through 
and then pull back on your work so you're not pulling too tight and then go back the opposite way catching different fibers again for about an inch to an inch and a half pulling through not pulling too tight and then once more back the other way and then you know that it's not going anywhere so once you've done that and you're happy with the placement of the stitches you can go ahead and snip off your yarn. So the colour's not going to matter too much if it's peeking through with the same colour but where this would be maybe an issue is with maybe this one so I would pull that up and then sew it in here maybe um, just so that you're not getting those colours crossing over too much. So there we go, that is part one of this cal. Again, I'll leave a link to the blog post where you can go and check all, out all of the details. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. I really look forward to seeing your finished cushions. I shall see you again in the next video. Bye.